I mean, hands down, coolest guitars ever, right? I mean, right? <laughs> I don't know where I was going with those harmonics. So um, I thought today, you know, let's just geek out about guitars, because why not? You know, in a world of every guitar imaginable, I think one of the coolest characteristics that any guitar can have is to sound unique. And I think that that's what has really been going on with me, with wanting to, to sell some guitars, to buy other guitars, all this kind of stuff that goes on. I mean, let me just make an excuse for me to want more gear. But um, what I've found the past uh, three or four years, something like that, what I've really fallen in love with are guitars that have a unique vibe or just a unique sound to them. And uh, when, I, when I find one that has that, I'm just kind of like, whoa, I got to have one of those. And I think that, um, I'm not sure how many years I've had these Dan Electros now at this point, I've had them for a long time, but... Dan Electros are one of those guitars. They're not some, I mean, they're great guitars. They're, they're well made, I'm not saying anything against that. I think that they're um, really good guitars. But, um, you know, they're not these master built, you know, AAA flame top this or that guitars. There are these funky guitars that just fit in this tiny little area. Wow, I got so bright. And I do want to say this video is not associated with Dan Electro, it's not associated with anybody. It's associated with me, my guitars, because I think they're cool and uh, all the fellow nerds out there. That's who this is associated with. And um, you know, the Dan Electros, I think, are really, really fascinating because they fit into this little, little niche inside of all the humbuckers, all the strats and tellies and Les Pauls and all this kind of stuff. And you have all these guitars that are copying them, and then, in their own little corner, sitting over there being cool, Dan Electros. Now, this is obviously a 12-string. Um, I have my 59 here. It's not a real 59. It's obviously like a remodeled one. Um, this one, now this one was given to me uh, many years ago from uh, Steve over at Dan Electro as a gift. So I like this one. I have a few other ones of my own, but um, I just like this orange sparkle one and they surprised me with it and gave it to me. So I thought that was really cool. But um, we'll talk about the 59s here in a second because obviously that's the, that's the Page guitar. Now the, the 12 string has easily been kind of like how I, when I got a jazz master it was so inspiring because it was such a different kind of guitar from what I was used to that's what this thing did you know times 10 there's not as many situations for it as the jazz master but man what a sound tuning's a little bit warbly which is okay because it just gives me that chorusing effect but um I had this tune to an open tuning before this. Super inspiring, you know? It can make the happiest riff sound happy, the make the happiest riff sound happier, or the saddest riff sound sadder. I was, still, I was just making that up as I went. I'm like, this is actually kind of turning into something very, very pagey, um, in my opinion. But um, it's, what a sound. What a unique sound. I, I'm curious what you guys think like, uh, about Dan Electros. Or if you have a, a guitar in your head, when you think of a guitar that truly sounds unique, that isn't based off of that original tone palette of Strat, Tele, Les Paul, you know, 335. Uh, you can obviously go back to L5s and all that stuff, too, if you want. But... I'm talking about the kind of the more rock, rock guitars is what I would uh, kind of contribute that, uh, contribute, attribute that to. Man, words, they're tough. I think I'll just stick to playing guitar. 
But I have found just endless inspiration. I know Fender makes a really cool 12 string, but um, this one, it's just middle setting. Like the bridge sounds uh, good, it's a little more harsh. <laughs> The neck is cool. But the middle sound is just where it's at for me. And I find you tend to play this differently because all the things that you want to do, like those double stop, I think they don't sound necessarily as good on this all the time like they would on a normal six string guitar so it makes you approach it differently to where well you're kind of already doing a double stop when you play one one note yeah. so let's switch over to the 59 here for a second because um again another one of my favorite ones if you haven't played a 12 string electric you're missing out man i'm sorry the light is just like blowing out the picture ISO still says it's good, but I think that that's a lie. <laughs> we'll see when I go to edit this how good or bad the, the noise is. So again, just like that one, the middle sound is pretty much the only setting I use on this guitar. This is a 59. If you don't know much about Dental Electros, they're a really fascinating company that came out you know, many, many moons ago. They were um, essentially trying to be a very affordable. These were the guitars that were sold in Sears and all that, that kind of stuff. They originally did have a, was it Rosewood or Walnut Bridge? This is obviously a more updated 59. Was it 59X or Plus or something like that? I can't remember. It doesn't say on here. Uh, but these are made in Korea. So. So that's your kind of like bridge pickup. Middle sound, like I said, is where I use it at. Hear that? It's so unique sounding. Cause like you hear it and you're like, it's, well, it's almost telly-ish, but you're like, it's also kind of like the middle sound on a Les Paul. And you're like, what is it? And you're like, oh, it's a Dan Electro. That's what it is. It, 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 I would hear it and I would just kind of be like, oh, is that a tally? Is that a last ball? You know. And I feel like if it's making your ears question itself, then the guitar's doing something. Not sure where I'm going with that. Let me change the tone here a little bit because I kind of wish it had a wee bit more grit on it. I do. Sorry to anyone, any British person. <laughs> I don't know why I did that horrible accent. The accent wasn't horrible. My attempt at the accent was horrible. I can't remember. Okay, that's my volume. That's my tone. Okay. The, the knobs are stacked. Can you guys see that? So you have two knobs, but there's four controls. So you know what? You probably couldn't see that, could you? Because it's on face detection. There you go. I have to like completely hide my face, where the camera's like, no, that's not your face. But again, another one. The neck pickup, great. You know, a little bit more brittle than what I like. The bridge. Bridge is pretty good. A little thin, but then you go to that middle sound. Oh, and it's just the best of both worlds. Dad joke. I had to do it.
know what? I'm tuned down half a step. I forgot. And I was like, that sounds weird. But I mean, this guitar, it just layers really well. Yeah, but Dan Electros, they're just the coolest. Let me know what you guys think. Have you played a Dano? Do you own one? Did you have one and hated it and sold it and then bought it again? Thus is the way of the guitar player. <laughs> that's, that's my experience with SGs anyways. Now I love them. So um, what can you do? We're uh, an interesting breed, aren't we? Us guitar, guitar geeks. So other than that, guys, I'm going to bounce on out of here. Bye, homies. Woo!